Hey everyone, if making text animations and subtitles sounds challenging, think again. With the right tools, it's easier than ever, especially if you're just starting your video editing journey and gearing up for your YouTube career. You don't need any specialized skills, just get familiar with a few features of Wondershare Filmora. This week, we're diving into five incredible features of Wondershare Filmora that will transform your editing experience. Let's dive in after this intro. All right, let's dive into creating and editing text animations in Wondershare Filmora. Open Wondershare Filmora and navigate to the title section where you'll find various categories of text animations. Select any category that suits your project and choose a text style you like. To preview a text animation, simply double click on it. It will take a few seconds to download and then it will play in the main preview window. If you find a paid text animation you like, you can filter by free to see only the available free effects. Each category offers a range of text animations with unique styles and looks. For example, if you select the VFX text category, you can scroll through the options and choose one that catches your eye. Well, um, let's, let's see what I can use for this tutorial. I mean, there are so many text animations that it makes hard to select one. Let's scroll to the top and choose this one, the flash. Great, I like this one. Let's see more. If you want to explore further, go to the 3D titles category, scroll down and pick another appealing option. I am going to use this one. Once you've made your choice, drag and drop it onto your timeline. You'll notice a black background indicating that it's a transparent text animation, allowing you to place any background behind it. To edit the text, double-click on the text layer on your timeline, and a new window will appear. Navigate to the Basic tab. Scroll to the top and replace the placeholder text with your own. For instance, you could use the word Wonder. You can customize the font, size, and choose from pre-made 3D materials to enhance the text appearance. Select a 3D material and see how it integrates seamlessly with your text. If you prefer to revert to the original look, simply undo the changes. Great, I like this one. Next, click on the Advanced button to control the animation's timing. Play the animation to preview the changes. If the text animation duration is 7 seconds and you wish to modify the in or out animation duration, you can adjust it in this section. This is your end animation. To adjust the duration of it, you can grab it from here and make it shorter by dragging it to the right. Check the animation and this is how it looks now. Go to the Animation tab, select the Out animation and choose a different style if desired. Playing the animation will show you the updated effect. If the text remains on screen for around six seconds, you can shorten its duration by adjusting the end time. You can adjust every aspect of this text animation, timing and all. This is the easiest way of creating the text animation in Wondershare Filmora. Let's check out the speech to text feature, which is perfect for creating subtitles for your videos. We have a quote that needs to be converted to text. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. To do this, right click on your audio file and choose speech to text. A new window will appear. Select the language of your audio, in this case, English, US. Since I don't want to translate the audio, I'll keep the no translation option on. Next, choose whether you want to convert the file from the clip selection or the entire timeline sequence. Let's select the clip section for this example. You'll notice an option to add automatically active words, which is a cool feature I will cover later in this video. For now, just select the titles and hit OK. It will take a few seconds to process depending on the length of your audio file. Once the speech to text conversion is done, play the video to see the results. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. If you need to make any changes to the text, simply double click on it and edit as needed. For this part, I'm going to cut this text and paste it to the second subtitle. Let's make this text layer shorter and increase its size. I'll then paste the copied subtitle right here. Play the video again to check how it looks. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. If you want to make further adjustments, select your layer and click on the settings icon. Go to the video section to change the position or scale of the text. 
You can use any font you like. I'm choosing Montserrat Semi Bold and setting the font size to 24. Filmora also offers text preset options for your subtitles. You can experiment with these presets to find the look you prefer. There are plenty of presets to choose from, allowing you to create unique color schemes or keep it simple. I'll select a preset I like for now. This feature streamlines the process of adding subtitles, making your videos more accessible and engaging. All right, let's make the animated subtitles now. Open Wondershare Filmora. This is the project I've been working on. I am one with the force and the force is with me. And as you can see, I have an audio file that I'll be using for this tutorial. To create animated subtitles, right click on your audio file and choose speech to text. A new window will pop up. Here you need to choose the language of your audio. I'm using English, US. For the translation option, select no translation. You have the option to convert either the selected clips or the entire timeline. Since my audio clip is relatively short, I'll go with the entire timeline sequence. Now, an important step is to check the box that says add automatically active words. This feature will convert your titles into animated subtitles by highlighting the active words in sync with the audio. By default, it will select the titles and then start the conversion process. It should only take a few seconds, depending on the length of your audio file. Once the conversion is complete, you'll see the subtitles appear along with the audio, perfectly synced. I am one with the force and the force is with me. Now select your subtitle layer and click on the settings icon. From here, you can adjust the position and scale of your subtitles. Let's position the subtitles right in the center of the screen to keep them in focus. I'll apply the same settings for the first subtitle to ensure consistency. I am one with the force and the force is with me. Next, go to the titles tab. Here you'll find a variety of presets to choose from. Select any preset that catches your eye and click apply to all. A prompt will appear asking if you want to apply the changes to all subtitles. Check don't ask again and hit apply. This will give your subtitles a cohesive look. I am one with the force and the force is with me. If you're not satisfied with the first preset, feel free to experiment with others until you find one that suits your style. I am one with the force and the force is with me. Once you've selected a preset, go to the basic tab. Here you can change the color of the active words to make them stand out. I'll choose a light green for a fresh look. Click apply and now your subtitles have a new appearance. Additionally, you can customize the font style, color and size to create a unique style that fits your project. This effect not only enhances the visual appeal, but also improves accessibility for viewers. Let's check out the AI translation feature in Wondershare Filmora. I have this audio file that contains a very cool quote. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. To translate this audio to a different language, right click on the audio file and select AI translation. A new window will appear. Here, change the translation type to either translate voice and text or translate text only. Since I only need the text, I will choose the translate text only option. Next, select the source language, which in this case is English, US, and the target language, which will be German. There are many languages you can translate into. Choose any language you want to translate. Click generate, and the software will take a few seconds to process, depending on the length of your audio file. Once the process is complete, close the window and check your video. Keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground. If the translation is not perfect, you can double click on the text to make any necessary changes. In my case, the translation was perfect, so I just made a few minor adjustments and everything looks great. This feature makes it easy to convert spoken words into text, allowing for seamless translations within your video projects. Great, let's dive into creating audio-driven text. First, let's check out the voice clip I'll be using for this tutorial. If we are going to win this fight, some of us might have to lose it. Great, let's do this. Head over to the titles section and scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find the title templates. Here, you'll see the option for audio-driven text. Click on it to reveal a variety of text animations specifically designed to sync with audio. You'll notice a bunch of text animations that can add a shake effect to your text 
making it more dynamic and engaging. Feel free to try out any of these options. For this tutorial, let's scroll down to the bottom and choose this particular animation. Simply click on it, grab it, and drop it onto the timeline. Next, make sure to trim your text layer to match the duration of your audio file. This ensures that the text animation is perfectly synced with the audio. If we are going to win this fight, some of us might have to lose it. If we are going to win this fight, some of us might have to lose it. Great, you can see that the text is already shaking in sync with the audio. This effect can also be applied to music tracks if you want to add a visual element to your tunes. If you need to edit the text, simply double click on the text layer. You can then change the text to whatever you like. For example, let me replace this line and adjust the spacing a bit. I'll set the font size to around 18 for now. Scroll to the bottom and you'll find a variety of text preset options here. You can try any of these presets or create your own custom style. Let's increase the text size to around 36 and apply another preset. Great, I think this one looks good. Remember, you can always change the font size and type if you want. Let's stick with this one for now and see how it looks. You can also change the font to a different one. I am going to use this one. If we are going to win this fight, some of us might have to lose it. Now, one more thing, you can also use this feature to create subtitles. Here's how you can do it. First, trim your text layer to fit your audio. Then, remove the bottom line by pressing Ctrl or Command plus X. Now, let's place the second line at a different time. To do this, make a duplicate of the text layer by right-clicking on it and selecting Duplicate. Position the duplicate layer where you want the second line to appear and replace the text with the new line. Adjust the length of this new text layer to match the audio and you're done. See how easy that was? If we are going to win this fight, some of us might have to lose it. By following these if steps, you can create multiple audio-driven text layers using it. Wondershare Filmora. So this was the latest update of Wondershare Filmora. Download Filmora today and get ready to transform your video editing experience. Check the first link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck and peace.